Hi there. This is Miss Anna from Room 6. Today I'm going to show you how to get your computers or iPads at home set up so that you can use our school programs to do work. Este video está en inglés. Si prefiere verlo en español, por favor seleccione la otra liga. The first thing you need is an app called Clever. Clever is like a backpack. It doesn't do anything by itself, but it holds all of the programs we are going to be using. First, I will give you directions for how to set up Clever on your computer. On your laptop or computer, go to this website, clever.sfusd.edu. If you have the QR code that your teacher gave you with your child's name, then you will use that to log in to Clever. Click where it says Clever Badge Login and use your computer's camera to scan the badge. If you don't have your QR code, select Login with Google. Check with your student's teacher. Your teacher can give you your student's username and password so that you can log in to this site. Click where it says Teacher Pages. Find your teacher's name and click on that button. Your page may look a little different from this page. When you enter, you will see all of the apps that your student will be using for schoolwork. If you're only going to be using a computer to do schoolwork at home, then you are done and you can stop this video. Now I will show you how to set up your iPad or tablet. You will be downloading a lot of apps. These are the apps that I recommended for my class. Your teacher may ask for slightly different apps or the same. Please check with your teacher about which apps you should be downloading. Remember, you're going to be using Clever to get into all of these apps. Go to the App Store on your iPad. Find the app called Clever and download it. All of the apps that you will be downloading today are free. Please note, if you are using an Android tablet and not an iPad, you will not be able to download Clever. Skip this part. Instead, you will be going to your browser, which might be Safari and might be Chrome, and you will be going to this address, clever.sfusd.edu. The rest of the directions you should still go ahead and follow. Now go to the, iP to the, to the App Store and download, download Seesaw. Make sure that you download the version called Class and not the version called Family. Again, your teacher may give you slightly different directions about which apps you should download. You may be asked to download an app called Imagine Math. Your teacher will probably ask you to download an app called Kids A to Z. You might also find it in the App Store called Reading A to Z or Learning A to Z. These are some of the other apps that your teacher may ask you to download. When you are finished, you will have all of these apps on your iPad or tablet. You will not be connecting directly to these apps. Remember, your student will be logging in through Clever, but the apps need to be downloaded in order to use them. Now I will show you how to log in to Clever. Remember, if you are using a tablet that is not an iPad, an Android tablet, you will need to go to the browser and open the website clever.sfusd.edu. From an iPad, please go to the Clever icon and click on it. If you have your QR code that your teacher provided you with, you can scan it to log in. If you don't have it, click the button that says log in with username or password at the bottom of the screen. It will take you to a page that looks like this. 
click the button that says log in with Google. Use the student and student email and password that your teacher has provided you with. Check with your teacher if you don't have them. Find where it says teacher pages and click on your teacher's name. You will see all the apps that you have downloaded or that your teacher has requested that your student will use. It may not look exactly like this screen. If you have any questions about this process, please check with your teacher. Thanks for listening.